Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial today on how you update older models, um, specifically X-Plane 10 models, in order to get them to run in X-Plane 11. Um, and for the purpose of this video, we're going to be focusing on the Bell 206, which is the Dreampoint model. So as you can see by the document here, the uh, three basic things that you must have is obviously you'll need a copy of the model you want to update, which in this case is the Bell 206. You'll need a copy of X-Plane 10.51. Um, if you already own that, then you can just download the copy that you own. If you don't own that and you own X-Plane 11, you can download the demo version, um, which is free, and that will include a copy of Playmaker 10.51 um, that you can use for this purpose. And last but not least, obviously you'll need a copy of X-Plane 11. So once you have those three things, then you uh, just follow these simple steps and you should be good to go. So as you can see here, we have the downloaded copy of the Dream 4 Bell 206. So I'm going to extract the file. And once you do that, and also as you can see, I recommend you use a side-by-side -side setup like this because there's going to be a lot of transferring back and forth and this makes it easier. Then we're going to go over here and wherever your copy of X-Plane 10.51 is, that's what you're going to open in this window. And you're going to go to the aircraft folder and wherever it is that you store your helicopters in X-Plane 10, we're going to move this over to that folder. We're going to open and verify it that it's actually there. Then we're going to go back to the 10.51 main folder and go down and open Planemaker. And again, it has to be Planemaker 10.51. And then you're going to go to File, Open. And you're going to scroll down and find the Bell 206 or whatever uh, model it is that you're wishing to update. You're going to open that. And once that opens, you're not going to do anything except for go to File, Save, and then close that. Go back to the aircraft folder and explain 10.51. Go to Helicopters. And then in this window, we're going to go back to the desktop and you're going to locate your x 11 installation in your aircraft folder. And we're simply going to take this folder, the Bell 206, that we just updated from 1051 and drag it over into our X-Plane 11 installation. Then we're going to open and verify that it's there, and there it is. And that's it, you're done. Uh, so what that's going to do is that's going to ensure that it'll at least appear and that you can actually load it. Um, you may have to generate new icons, so um, that's a pretty straightforward process, and I may make a tutorial later on on how you actually do that. But like I say, once you follow these uh, simple steps, just open X-Plane 11 like you would normally, and the uh, Bell 206 will be there. It may not be, uh, like I say, it may not have an icon, and it may not be labeled correctly, but if you just put in the first few uh, letters of the word, it will find it, um, and it will show up. And I'll just go ahead and load Let's see. I'll open 11 at least to show you that it is going to show up in the menu. And there you go, Bell 206 Jet Ranger 3. Now, as you can see, it doesn't have an icon, uh, but once you load your first flight, then come back to this menu, and if you click on Customize, um, there will be an icon right around this area that will say Generate Icons, and if you click on that, then it will actually generate an icon for any livery that you actually have in your collection for that particular aircraft. Um, I usually don't worry that much about it. It doesn't make much of a difference to me, you know, but if you just really want the uh, the icons to correspond, then like I say, it takes, you know, 
depending on how many liveries you have, you know, it may take 45 seconds to a minute and a half to actually do that. So it's a pretty simple process. So hopefully that'll help you get at least the basics down. And uh, if you have any specific questions, you can leave those in the comment section below. And I will try to respond to those as quickly as I can. Um, so once again, hope that helps you at least get started. And as always, thanks for watching.